This is Jamal with Bad Wolf Mixed Martial Arts giving you the what and the why. The what is our standing guard break. The why is because it allows us to determine how the encounter would take place. We can stand up, open the guard, and then decide if we want to keep the fight on the ground by passing the guard, or we can totally disengage if there's an MMA bout, allow our opponent to stand up so we can keep striking, or if it's a street fight, we can disengage totally, run away from the encounter. One of the downsides to a standing guard break is if we create too much space, it allows our opponent some entries into some leg locks. Also, if we stand up and we're off base, it allows us to be swept. But the benefits of the standing guard break are it keeps our arms safe typically from being attacked and also our necks stay out of range because we're standing. Therefore, we can't get choked or cranked. So keep that in mind as you're learning the technique and let's take a look at it. So the first thing that we shall do is grab his hand thumb to thumb. So we grab it like this, like we're shaking hands because it gives me a lot of control over his hand. It makes it hard for him to get it back. Next, the, on the side that I have wrist control with, my leg goes straight out. It comes back in right by his hip bone. Notice that I'm taking his wrist and I'm shoving it into his solar plexus. From the back, hips are down low. My toes are active. I don't want to be sitting with what we call shoelaces in the mat. I want my toes active. That way it's going to make it easier for me to stand. So legs straight out, hips are down, foot right by the hip pocket. When we're ready to stand, we want to make sure we keep our arms completely locked out. So from the side, you can see that my elbows do not bend. If my elbows bend, that's going to make it easier for him to break my posture down. When he breaks my posture down, that means I'm more susceptible to being submitted from chokes and arm attacks. So the number one thing that we can do to prevent that stuff from happening is just having great posture. So the leg goes out, comes back in, my arms stay locked out, and I do not squat the weight up. Instead, I want to focus on driving off of him in order to stand up. Our fourth step to our standing guard break is connecting our elbow to our hip bone. So I switch my grip over, I connect my elbow to my hip bone, and then I connect my thigh and my ribs together. And it's one of those things you actually really want to visualize. You want to think about smashing his leg in between your thigh and your hip bone. And that's going to give us control of the leg. It also puts his hip alignment off kilter and it makes it hard for him to hold that guard. Another benefit of connecting our thigh to our hip bone and our rib is that it makes us keep our base low and we stay in that great athletic position. So we don't want to stand straight up. We want to be bent over like a linebacker or like a wrestler in a really good stance. Last step is with our free hand, we push on the kneecap and we slide and bounce back gently. So we're not rushing this guard break by any means. When we rush, we make mistakes. When we make mistakes, we get swept or submitted. And also, when you have great technique, speed is not necessary. So there's no need to rush. And you see that with like as your belt darkens, you slow down more and more in your application of jujitsu. So from the back, you can see me make that connection. I bounce, I push, and I step back. We can never stand if we do not have at least one wrist controlled. If I stand without having one wrist controlled, that's when he's going to drop down to my ankles and he's going to bump me and sweep me with a double ankle grab sweep. So from the front, you can see also as I slide back, he can take his free hand and underhook my ankle and that's fine because that's not going to prohibit me from stepping back and opening the guard. So once again, connect i bounce i push if he hooks that's not a problem so please turn on your notifications follow us on instagram and we're going to take you from that beginner level of jujitsu to the elite level of technique